Okay, let's go. Let's go outside. You say hi to the camera. One of the biggest things that I've learned since having her, a lot of times, like you learn to multitask. So trying to make chicken, having her hanging off me, you know, M, she started work recently, go on, bull. Um, so when I get home and pick her up from daycare at whatever, five o'clock, M doesn't get home till six. So that hour is not just for me to chill and rest and shower and hang out. Now I'm like meal prepping and cooking dinner and all that. And uh, doing it with her hanging off me is the best, but yeah, you really learn how to, how to multitask. I met Dan because I attended a boot camp through Margarita at Twerk and um, I had been going for a while and then I stopped going and um, he had messaged me on Instagram and I thought he wanted my business back. Uh, we ended up chatting and went for a drink and that was it. I had been focusing on myself and really on this journey of self-improvement and um, he seemed to be on the same path after going through some tough things in his life and we just connected and we have spent pretty much every day since we met together honestly it's so important like I can rely on her that when I do get busy or um, you know things come up like they do all the time she's gonna take hold down the fort and, and take care of the family and um, I think that's been huge uh, my life is a little crazy and uh, having a good support at home is, has been huge and it's allowed me to be able to train for this competition, um, even have my surgeries and uh, because I know that I got her to take the load when, when I can't. I just thought exactly that, like the stereotypical like meathead type of idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny because it's like, it's always in life you see somebody and that first impression you're you're kind of judging a book by its cover and little do you know you know nothing about this person and that was a perfect example because behind that image of this meathead gym owner is a person that you would never just some characteristics you would never think that type of um person would have. Dan, I always joke that he's very young, he's very accomplished, but it's because he's like a 65 year old man underneath all of it. So all in all, when someone opens a business or takes on a venture themselves, it's a huge risk. And you just have to dive in. And I think that he's done that with being a father. Let me try, let me, let me do this, let me learn about this. You know, he was the first one to change the diaper at the hospital. I think that's who Dan is. He might be scared, he might be second guessing himself. We all have doubt, everybody has doubt, Dan has doubt. Um, but he's able to just quiet it and, and just jump in and do something. And I think that's what's made him such a good father. Because at times where maybe I'm so doubtful, like I cripple myself with doubt, he just kind of takes the lead. And that's why I think we've been a great team and parented all together. If anybody knows Dan, he's got 200 things going on any single day. So I should hope that sometimes he can rely on me when he's a little bit tired or overwhelmed because being a parent and running a business is its own beast like you wouldn't imagine. When I say Dan takes a genuine interest in the members of Torque, I'm not just saying that because I'm his wife. I see it every single day. You see him pushing himself and pushing himself and is there any part of you that like kind of wants to <laughs> kind of wishes you would reel it back a little bit especially yeah the training? yeah yeah i i wasn't thrilled even about this competition but um i had to like step away from it and not look at dan as my husband but just as a person who has a passion for something and how important this was at the end of the day, like he's he's intelligent. He knows his limits. I would I should say he should know his limits. But this has meant so much to him to go back on that platform that you can't take that away. And whatever everybody in life, like we have to make our own mistakes. Sometimes I'm not saying it's a mistake, 
but the injury was a result of it. So, but we have to go down those roads and we have to sometimes experience that redirection sometimes. Why should I take that away from him? Whatever the outcome is, that's his journey. That's, that's what he wants to do. And I don't want to interfere in that. I don't want to interfere in that as an individual. I can voice my concerns as a wife. I can say, you're an idiot. But at the end of the day, like, it's too important to him to take away. A lot of the times in life with anything, it's the delivery of something when you say something. It can make, make or break anything. Like, you can say, I'm concerned. Um, I don't want you to injure yourself. I know it's important to you, but please know your limits. Listen to your body versus, like I said, like you're a, you're a fucking idiot. Like, what are you doing? You have a family. And I've realized I've had to reframe it. Like, are you gonna need a scooter next year? Because I don't wanna be pushing a scooter. Like, I don't want you in a scooter. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can say those harsh things, but you, I had to stop because I was like, is that gonna change anything? Like at the end of the day, if somebody wants to do something, they want to do it. So I have to gain perspective, look at the whole picture, trust him that he knows what he's doing and that he has a family and a daughter. But once again, I'm his wife. I don't want to nag him about something that really at the end of the day, it's it's a positive thing. Like I said, I think it's the, the delivery in it. Just being kind about it and understanding. It makes all the world of a difference if you have a good support. I've had Emily, she has been my rock through all the, the injuries. Now she gives me shit all the time. I was more scared to call her and tell her what happened than I was for the actual diagnosis of the injury because she's telling me like, you have nothing to prove anymore. And you know, and I know that's her trying to take the load off of me, but for me, again, you know, powerlifting is my passion. It's something I've been doing my entire life. And um, I don't have anything to prove to anybody else other than myself that I will keep doing what I'm capable of doing and giving 100% of what I have, regardless through injuries, um, setbacks, loss of friends and, and you know just keep pushing keep pushing and today might not be a great day but tomorrow might be a better day